Yo, what up, Blackish fam? I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, man, we got to get back into some One Take Timmy, right? Uh, just, man, people like One Take Timmy, Toby Wigway, Andre 3000, uh, Montana 300. Man, the wordplay is so nice. Uh, it really calls for an intellectual breakdown where we just go bar for bar. I don't want to miss any of them. We want to really understand the context of what he's saying. Um, I've been really impressed with this cat one take Timmy and uh, this is a uh, song uh, called Welcome to the Party. It's the remix. Uh, but yo, let's get right into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ron G was popping in. One take Timmy. Yeah. Baby, welcome to the party. Clan with me, yes, Lord. Ladder with me, Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Ladder with me, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, uh, what is it, WWF, WWE? Uh, he's known for those uh, 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 bringing the ladder out, right? What do they call that when you uh, use the ladder? But that's that's the reference. That's the old ref uh, wrestling reference, uh, Jeff Hardy. Body. <laughs> cage match, right? The ladder cage matches. Turn in Chef Body. <laughs> that Chef Boy RD. Clan with me, yes, Lord. Ladder with me, Jeff Hardy. Turn in Chef Body. <laughs> Boy RD. Boy RD, nigga, sorry. Uh, there's a play on words with Chef Boy RD. Um, that's actually a label that's, a, you know, little raviolis and whatnot uh, that's owned by a, a big um, a big corporate brand called Conagra Foods uh, that's been on the media for uh, bad practices and uh, some other things. Um, but uh, a lot of people don't know there's actually a guy that was named, he was a, a relatively poor guy, an Italian immigrant, um, and his last name was Boy RD. Uh, and that's where that Chef Boy RD comes from. Uh, just a little useless knowledge there. <laughs> Boy RD, Boy RD, nigga, sorry. We ain't gon' feed niggas all we. Nah, leave niggas starving. Ha, bitch, I'ma die. Give me lit. Uh, gun on my hip. Yeah. One in the head, another in every nigga that he with. <laughs> Yo, if you don't like me, fuck you and all the motherfuckers that roll with you, right? You run that back. Uh, gun on my hip. Yeah. One in the head, another in every nigga that he with. Oh, yeah, that's breakup talk. You didn't look it through my phone. Now, back in the day before I was married, uh, I actually broke up with a girl. I, I came out from the, came in from the bathroom. Uh, this was a younger chick. She was like 10 years younger than me. And she's just sitting there, just casually looking through my phone. I said, bitch, you going to be uh, uh, someone that I used to know. And that's exactly what the fuck she is because I put her the fuck out. I'm gonna sleep with a pistol on my pillow. Walk up to my pistol to the shit. Won't catch me slipping in my slipper. Yo, see, that's the beautiful thing with one take to me. It, he, he makes it look effortless, right? Just a little bar. He said, like, you won't catch me slipping in my slippers, right? Talking about taking a pistol to the shitter, right? And it's just, he makes it look so easy, but it's really not. Um, but his wordplay is just nice. I'm going on my phone, yeah. You know what it is. I ain't never dream I'd be a killer. I'm going to sleep with a pistol on my pillow. Walk up to my pistol to the shitter. Won't catch me slipping in my slipper. I can see it in the distance getting clearer. Like the slashes at the end is getting narrow. Michael Jackson, this is it. Militia niggas. Ooh, uh, Michael Jackson, this is it. In 2009, uh, there was actually going to be a documentary, but uh, I think it was actually scheduled to come out uh, just before he died, like two or three weeks. But uh, it was actually called This Is It. Uh, and it was uh, 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 behind the scenes footage uh, of a tour uh, that, that went by the same name, right? I believe it was a This Is It tour. This is getting clearer like the slashes at the end is getting narrow. Michael Jackson, this is it. Militia niggas slide clapping like we listen to the thriller. I ain't clapping. Ooh, like we listen in the thriller. Da -dum 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 -dum. Da -dum 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 -dum. Oh, I lost my thinking cap. Uh, but that's da -dum 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 -dum. Da -dum -dum. right as a Michael Jackson thriller. Uh, was it held the record for like the number one music video for decades, right? This is a long, unusually long video. Michael Jackson, this is it. Militia niggas slide clapping like we listen to the thriller. I ain't clapping. I'm so different from these niggas. I am so different. Getting hot from the bubble. I'm blistering. I cannot get in trouble. I'm innocent. Got a rock from the rubble and dribble it. Ah, I trapped it. Doubled it. Tripled it. That's a prize by my humble. I'm giving it. I ain't teaching you nothing. I'm living it. Grab a mic and I'll rest when I'm rich with it. Ooh, what'd he say? I'm not teaching you nothing. I'm living it. Like, uh, I was just going over another track of Toby Wigway, and he was like, uh, yo, I don't recite nothing that I ain't lived, right? I'm not out here just telling you someone else's truth. I'm telling you my truth, right? Yo, sick. 
I think it's sweet, not Harley. I think that's a pro, uh, reference to uh, a Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn. Uh, what is it, sweet but deadly or something? Sweet but uh, sweet but psycho. That's what she. Uh, that's what she always says. Baby, welcome to the party. He think it's sweet, not Harley. We got the meat like Arby's. Nigga, eat mine for your salaries. Oh, we got the meats face. Still want a five twelve Ferrari and a state flag with a five twelve. The five twelve Ferrari. That was a. That's a Ferrari, if I'm not mistaken. That was only born. Uh, born a Ferrari between 1969 and 1970. Uh, it's, it's really unique. Um, I don't think it's a special edition, but I believe it's off the Ferrari P. Uh, don't ask me how I know that, but uh, it's old. I believe it's 69 to 70. It's old school. We still want a 512 Ferrari and a state flying with a Barbie. MC fly like a Marty. That's a, a reference to um, uh, Back to the Future. Right, uh, Marty McFly was the, one of the main characters, the kid that's uh, played by Michael J. Fox. Uh, that's his name, Marty McFly. And I stay flying with a Barbie, MC fly like a Marty. Bitch, be quiet when I'm talking. Shh, she give her head on her knees. She said she can ride on her feet. I told that bitch, I wanna see. Yeah, y'all yeah, got the hoes. The money sound better than me. They won't settle with me. I might let them for cheap, but it's not. Yo, y'all could take these hoes, right? I want the cash, bro. Give me the cash. Take all this, all these bitches and thoughts, right? Never for free. I done set up this beef. I want cheddar on top. Put a hold on the sesame seeds. Yeah, we getting bread on my block. I grew up on Sesame Street. Yo, let's do a wordplay, right? He's talking about beef, right? Having beef with someone, but also burger beef. He talks about the cheddar on top, just like you talk about getting that money, right? Or skimming from the top. Uh, but he also talks about a, a high-end bun, a burger bun, has seeds in the bun. Those are called sesame seeds. But he's also talking about getting bread. And then he ties it all up, talking about, yo, I'm, I'm from Sesame Street, right? The way I be getting this bread. Bro, just, I don't know if a lot of cats are catching all those bars, but there's like four bars there, just back to back to back to back, that all coincide. Um, they're all correlated, right? Yo. Man, that's just, it's nice. And he makes it look so simple, right? So easy. Put a hold on the sesame seeds. Yeah, we getting bread on my block. I grew up on Sesame Street. You know I ain't never gonna stop. Nah, we just won't ever repeat. And if that's my nigga, then treat him like me. And bitch, give him whatever he needs. I'm gonna He said, yo, if that's my dude, treat him like you treat me, right? You gonna, you gonna bust down, you gonna slob me down, smoke up with me. Yo, you gonna smoke up and slob down my guy, too. Yo, right? There ain't no fun that the homies can't have now, boo boo. And if that's my nigga, then treat him like me and bitch, give him whatever he needs. I'm a hustle forever whenever I need. Yeah, I hit the fuck like a rookie. She think I'm a sweater, I'm more like a hoodie. I'm playing a little stock with a goodie. I'm back with my bullies, still packing a fully. I ain't forgot I'm good looking. Why hop in some beef? I got hop in some pussy. I'm swimming away. He said, why hop in some beef? I got hop in some pussy, bro. No way, it's cases. Homie, you still getting paid. But I hit the train, get a dollar. He said, uh, what is this? The shot, uh, what's that old movie? Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Uh, first prize, first prize for first place is a brand new Cadillac. Second place, a box of fucking steak knives, right? Second place ain't shit. Uh, number one, it don't come at all, right? You, you ain't shit. He said, yo, it's bigger than the gap between first and second place. Uh, cause second place, you ain't shit. Right, that I feel bigger than the space. Between me and second place, niggas getting ready for my wake and my funeral. Shit, Saturday, I'll probably show up hella late. I have that hot heaven gates. I'm a fucking <laughs> H, nigga. I'm a motherfucking G. Perfect. Keep Ooh, right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Between E, F, G. Between F and H is G, right? That's what he just said. Like, I'm a G, like, I'm between F and H. F and H, nigga. I'm a motherfucking G. Perfect. She just keep fucking up the street. She just keep fucking up my sheets. Ooh, only the real ones know, right? When you done done a McNasty with some girl, uh, and the sheets be all sorts of fucked up. Look like a crime scene, right? Uh, yo, and the, to the dudes of yesteryear, you know, if she was a virgin or 
uh, earlier on or might have been on that time of the month, but uh, the sheet, sheets just be fucked up, right? He said, uh, what did he say? He said, yo, I'll, I'll be fucking up the fucking up the game or some shit. They're like, she be fucking up my sheets. Like, the real ones know about that. Yo, like, sh- put the motherfuckers in an Aldi bag and, yo, I ain't washing these. We gonna toss these bad boys. <laughs> I like how he just does uh, like oh, these motherfuckers ain't shit. He said, which one again is he? All these motherfuckers look the same. Oh, it's him? Motherfucker, you ain't shit. Uh what did he say? He said, I'm gonna do a number three, right? Number one is pee pee. Number two is poo poo. But he said, yo, I'm gonna piss it up, piss him off, then shit on him. We gonna call that shit a number three. Woo! I'm not talking about wax, right? When a girl gets a Brazilian wax, she's normally uh, doing her private areas, right? Getting it nice and smooth. He's talking about dudes that might be on their wax, though. So, uh, man, I did that wax, bro. I tried it once. I, I smoke, right? I smoke regular green, uh, some weed. Uh, but, man, I had wax. That shit had me in a fetal position, bro. I just... Was balled up, eyes wide open, just stuck like a motherfucker, bro. I don't fuck with that wax anymore. Oh, yeah, you getting that legit money now. You out here, music videos and shit with your name on it. Uh, they're about to hit you. That The entertainer tax is nothing nice. Uh, but what you need to do, bro, is you need to have a real one in your camp. Uh, that understands the sides of the law that you can play and the limitations of the tax code. Now, what you need to get is yourself a little laundromat, a little car wash uh, that could be getting this money in so you can play around with some of these numbers, right? Because uh, That's what drug dealers do, right? You probably know that if you're getting large quantities of money, you can't just deposit it in the bank because anything over $10,000, IRS is going to be questioning where you got the money from. So one, when you deposit money, you deposit only at a $9,000 or $9,500 increments, um, but also get you a business, start an LLC, ideally a business, you know, old hot dog stand, a food truck, something that's a cash heavy business. On paper, it's going to look like this This damn food truck is popping. This motherfucker have made 700000 so far this year. Be like, damn, that food truck must be on point. Now nah, you're just using it to circulate the money and you want to do something or choose an industry um, that, that might be taxed differently. So um, you need your urban tax professional that can uh, kind of play around with some of these scenarios for you, bro. Um, yo, uh, wish I knew you. I'd, uh, I, I could throw you a couple pointers. Uh, you know, if you're ever checking this out, feel free to send me a message. I could kind of put you on some uh, tax code game. Yo, that, that's just nice, man. And uh, for those that don't know, uh, man, do, take a look at the playlist. We got a whole playlist dedicated to One Take Timmy. Uh, the man just doesn't disappoint. And, yo, this wasn't even heavy on the wordplay. I've broken down some of his songs. I'm like, yo, what did he just say? Man, run that back. Nah, he didn't say that. This motherfucker said that? I'm Googling shit. Man, so, uh, man, if you're a fan of the wordplay and the intellectual breakdowns, uh, definitely One Take Timmy, Montana 300. Uh, they're just a different caliber of rapper. Make sure you show some love, like the video, uh, but subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out that playlist as well.